SWAT TEAM HAS SURROUNDED A MANSION IN PACIFIC PALISADES WHERE A STANDOFF HAS BEEN GOING ON NOW FOR HOURS. AND WE HAVE JUST LEARNED THAT IT HAS COME TO A DEADLY END. WE KNOW THAT A BODY HAS BEEN FOUND ON THE SECOND FLOOR. WE DON'T KNOW IF IT'S THE RESULT OF A SUICIDE OR THE RESULT OF POLICE HAVING SHOT THAT PERSON. CARA FINSTROM HAS MORE. Round after round of tear gas, at least 100 total, were fired this morning into a Pacific Palisades mansion. Because it's such a large property, um, uh, that would be why there are so many rounds uh, for it to be effective. You can find a lot of different spots to kind of get away from that. Inside, a man in his 50s was holed up. Police say his on again, off again girlfriend owns the 9,000 square foot home. She called for help late last night, saying he'd been drinking, got angry, and started shooting at her. He has a weapon registered to him, but that we don't know the whereabouts of that weapon. But the woman's mother had some weapons in the home, and that's what he used and armed himself. Crisis negotiators tried to talk the barricaded man into surrendering, but say he was belligerent. Then police say the man started shooting out of the home at officers who fired back. No officers were hurt, and police say they could see the man continuing to move around inside. The tear gas was used to try to force him out. A tack cat, other armored vehicles, and canines were all brought in as officers began hours of watching and waiting. That's good because that's safety for everybody. This construction foreman couldn't get to his job on the block. I sent the guys to the, the another job. And that was Carfins from reporting.